Hello, me and my friends directed a video. I directed it with Nicole France. Cut to Nicole. Um, well, lots of people were involved. We had Aubrey involved. Cut to Aubrey. We had Matthew involved. Cut to Matthew. Um, there was me. Cut to me. The other me from the past. And Vic crushed. Love you, Vic. You're handsome and talented. And it was really just a group effort. Here, show the group. Because we had this idea. My song, I Don't Miss You, is centered on the idea of how we lie to ourselves. Really, that's not entirely what it's about. I just don't want to talk about what it's about specifically, so I've come up with this very nebulous, artsy approach to what it's about, so therefore we can talk about art instead of about my feelings. Maybe it's kind of meta, because in a way that's me hiding from myself with my art, which is one of the things that we did with this art. We represented how, do we, how we hide from ourselves with art in the work and productivity room. Cut to it, cut to it. Welcome to the work room. In this room, we'll be showing you how I think we use work as a way to lie to and hide from ourselves. So the idea was create five physical spaces that represent the five ways we think we lie to ourselves the, work, the most. We collaborated with a very brilliant art director named Juli Gonzalez, flew in from Medellin, kicked it with us in LA, stayed at our home, where, which is where we currently are. Welcome to the backyard. And we made these rooms. So one of them was how we hide from ourselves with work and productivity, how we hide from ourselves with drugs and alcohol, how we hide from ourselves with sex and other people, how we hide from ourselves by numbing ourselves and sleeping, and how we hide from ourselves with social media. I've been saying it was my first directorial debut, but it turns out I was wrong because I directed a video from a little short film. I called it that because I'm pretentious. Um, for my song, The Few Things, back in 2018 with Anthony Ramos and Dina Shihabi. I'm proud of that video. But anyway, we're talking about this video now different version of a love song. I was very inspired by the Moderacion video directed by Ricky Montaner and Eva Luna uh, because they directed that and they're my friends and I was like, they're fucking amazing and this is so inspiring to see them doing their thing. So I wanna do my thing. And my thing just in included this community effort of a lot of creatives that I fucking love working together to make fun shit. And I hope you've enjoyed watching it because we certainly enjoyed making it. We didn't mean for it to be a music video. At first it was gonna be a a selection of short form content. This video book is what I was calling it. And I thought of it as like, you know, pages and you scroll through pages and each page is a different little allegory about how we lie to ourselves with different things. But then the record label was like, we need a music video. So I was like, okay, let me try. So Matthew and I, who's standing on the other side of the camera right now, sat down with all the footage and thought, how can we make this a video? And then I ordered Boba and got distracted and he edited the whole thing. You gotta get a Boba to go. We did this all in two days and my favorite thing about it was just how many of my friends I got to work with. Not just friends from Los Angeles, but it was really fucking cool getting to work with some of the Colombian team on this. We had Pow in some videos. That was fun. I learned how to do my makeup. Samantha painted me. Brooke played the memory of uh, an ex-girlfriend. And we projected her above Essie and Sarah. Bird did a poem. I don't miss you. Everyone dance. Francine choreographed the dance. Oh, and worked with Ryan Ramirez, who did like a whole, a whole thing. Huli has been our art director for the When You Think Of Me video. He was the art director for the moderation video. He was the art director for our album cover, which you haven't seen yet. I'm also wearing these really fucking cool custom grayish, purplish, greenish suits um, that Amalia, uh, who we work with in Medellin as well, had made. And we're gonna put, we're gonna put, we'll put the full names right here, full names. I've never called her by your name. I'm lucky yours and hers. I think my favorite shots from the whole thing are in our productivity workroom, when I pulled down that, that thing. That looked cool. I also really liked the visual of me playing guitar in bed for Essie and Sarah while there was the projection of Brooke behind me. Because I've always thought the dynamic of like being with the girl and her saying, hey, will you play me a song? Like it seems romantic on the surface, but then really you end up just singing about your ex-girlfriend in this romantic moment, which is this the last thing anyone wants to do. And I've always thought that was a little funny little dichotomy and it felt indicative of the story of the song. So we recreated it in a studio setting rather than in my bedroom over there. Thanks for, uh, thanks for spending some of your eyeball time on this art that we made. I appreciate you dedicating 15 seconds of your life occasionally to my art instead of uh, you know the usual well, for me, the usual use of my eyeballs on the internet is, it's just, sincerity is my jam, so like, I just, I don't believe them. And then I get distracted. It's embarrassing enough to like, who wants that? 